and we're back let's go ahead and continue this process why don't we start with the uh, body here we'll grab that UV set the shell right here let's hit unfold and see what happens that doesn't look too bad as far as distribution um, and let's check our checker box okay actually looks pretty good I mean I'm gonna scale it up a little bit so that they just match in size a little better and I'm gonna place it on our texture just like that maybe rotate it a bit okay um, if you're being picky as a 3d artist and and I, I'm generally not because computers are so fast I really don't want to waste texture space so I want my UVs to be really close to each other on this sheet um, the reason why is because textures are heavy on memory so and also textures make your game look amazing as you have probably already noticed textures is what makes the model look good so if your textures suck then they your game won't look good but if they're if they are awesome they're also big and it could slow your game down so um, just be aware you want to keep all of these really close together on the same map not all spread out and wasted as it were okay so let's keep going that looks good that was really easy let's go down to these legs here I'll hit unfold hopefully we won't Ooh, definitely gonna have problems there do you see that I mean big old problems okay for sure uh, because this distribution of checker boxes is like insane here and tiny here let's get to cutting let's cut like we're crazy Okay, so I think we'll take a seam all the way down the side of his leg in the inside more because that's less likely to be seen. Uh, we are going to paint it in Photoshop, so does it matter if it's seen or not? No, but um, as a general rule, put those seams in a place where they're not as likely to be noticed if you do crappy work, which you'll never do crappy work because you guys are way too good for that, right? Of course. Um, yeah, just gonna cut down here. It's kind of hard sometimes to tell where exactly we are, so that's why I just kind of go a couple at a time, just like that. Okay, don't need that one selected. That looks like a good place to make a cut, so we're gonna go ahead and cut it there. I have a feeling I'm gonna cut it here too, but I will go ahead and cut that and unfold. And let's look at our checkers now. Right there, okay. Still big old problems, right? Definitely gonna need to cut it around here and maybe here to get that perfect. So let's do it. Um, right here. Trying to get it to go all the way around. Yep, yeah, grab that edge loop. Let's cut that. Oh, you know, I, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to actually grab the uh, hole, the UV shell, right there, and then head unfold. Okay, so um, that's way better. So we might not have needed to uh, grab that one in the middle. Let's just undo that real quick. And uh, before we make that cut and those selections, and let's go ahead and grab the hole, the UV shell, and let's unfold and see what we get. Okay, 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 way better. So I didn't need to make that extra cut. I just was panicking. Uh, keep in mind you have to select the whole shell and unfold, not just the edge selection for the cut. Okay, so once again, we'll just have to scale this a little bit to make those checkers match. And we'll move it on. This is, uh, this is actually pretty easy compared to some models. You guys um, don't know that, but it is. So this is going extremely well. I'm happy right now. This is my happy face. Okay, so uh, probably going to need to split these as well. But the checker boxes aren't crazy. They're just uh, somewhat crazy, right? So let's try unfolding this guy and see what happens. Right here, hit unfold. And we're going to have some crazy stretching again. So let's, uh, let's doctor it up. Let's get... Get our cut tool on. Mm, where to cut exactly? Well, let's go see how good our edge selections were, our edge loops 
and just completely do that. Just try it. Why not? I will cut it. My dogs are barking. Gonna select the uh, UV hole shell. Both of those. And hit unfold. And it uh, looks like that bond on the bottom needs to be scaled quite a bit. But we gotta make it match those top ones, so. Right here, that is. And maybe something like that. Okay, pretty good. We're getting along on the video -age, so I will stop it for the head and we'll come back, finish the head. Then we'll go into Photoshop and really do this thing right.